Hello, the National Business Information Clearinghouse and Entrepreneurial Development Center welcomes you to our series on business networking. This module will help you to find networking opportunities in your local area or your line of business. Business networking is a requirement of doing business. Everyone networks. So whether you are a shopkeeper or a construction worker or an engineer or accountant, consider networking to be something you must do to further your career or business. And even though it is something you need to do for your business, it is also something that can be a fun and enjoyable part of your job. Networking is about making connections. You have a network of people that you know. Consider the following categories and take the time right now to list the names of people you know who can help you. Friends, relatives, neighbors, coworkers, past and present, suppliers or customers, past and present, business and professional associations, alumni, community and political contacts, contacts through religious affiliations members of organizations that you belong to, personal business contacts such as an accountant, lawyer, or banker, and your spouse's network. By speaking with any one of the individuals on this list, you may be able to uncover excellent business opportunities based on the people they can introduce you to and by having them share information with you. While you're tapping your network of personal contacts, you can also attend local networking events. For example, most professions have an annual meeting of some kind where people in the same occupation get together, attend training classes, and talk shop. And there are trade shows around the world that bring together buyers and sellers so they can conduct business. So which specific event should you attend? First, determine what you want to get out of attending a networking event. Remember, networking goes far beyond just meeting people. It means establishing a mutually beneficial relationship with others. Choose events based on your goals. For example, you might be interested in learning a new industry, meeting a representative of a specific company, becoming known in the community, getting a new job, or establishing yourself as a subject matter expert. Who do you want to meet? What new direction do you want to take your business? Based on what your goals are, you can pinpoint the networking opportunities that are right for you. How do you locate local networking events? Here are some ideas. Look at the calendar and event listing in local business publications. Check out association websites. Ask colleagues in your industry. Review online business calendars such as W3W3.com and refer to organizations such as the local SBA and SBDC to find out about training and events near you. You can think of many other areas where you can get involved in places such as any type of class, such as Toastmasters, Dale Carnegie, or a foreign language course. Civic groups, such as Rotary, Kiwanis, Lions, or Elks Club. Cultural or sporting events, private clubs, like a golf country club, a cooking club, or a small private club. Or you can volunteer and become involved in a charity or community organization that you believe in. Networking happens throughout your entire life, so you will have numerous chances to meet people, briefly explain what you offer, and help them out if you can. All it takes is your willingness to start a conversation. Remember, networking is not about attending an event to sell something. It's about making connections with like-minded people that may eventually lead to new business. So go with the attitude of building your personal network by meeting and engaging with new people. While the majority of small businesses use traditional networking methods like conferences, trade shows, and chamber of commerce, there is a growing use of social media, also known as online communities. You might have heard of such sites as LinkedIn. Fill out a simple profile with your name, job description, and contact information, and LinkedIn can expand your Rolodex by thousands of names. Facebook and MySpace are mainly aimed at the under 24 set and neither is specifically designed as a business tool. However, Facebook may soon be adding business profiles. Plaxo helps you maintain your networks by recognizing any changes to the contact information of any Plaxo member and automatically updates that data in your Microsoft Outlook contact list. Twitter allows you to blast a two sentence message via email or text to all of your Twitter contacts. Think of it like a mini blog. Some entrepreneurs have used it for ad hoc meetings and last minute notifications. No matter how far you journey into online networking, the thing to remember is social media is here to stay. It's time to test yourself. 
Answer true or false. One, business networking is a requirement of doing business. True. Two, the majority of small businesses use social media for networking. False. The majority of small businesses use traditional networking methods like conferences, trade shows, and chambers of commerce. However, there is a growing use of online communities to network because it's cost effective and a great way to reach your potential target audience. 3. Places to network include sporting events, civic organizations, any type of class, and cultural events. True. Congratulations! You now have an understanding of how to find networking opportunities. For more information about this topic, you can visit one of our customized business information clearinghouses. These websites give you access to a variety of free resources for starting and growing your business. Click on the EDC button to view additional online training topics, including the entire business networking series. Thank you for visiting the Entrepreneurial Development Center presented by the National Business Information Clearinghouse, building a nation of entrepreneurs. This program was made possible by the generous support of founding sponsor, Western Union.